Well, it's not really clear why the passengers all rushed to the sell side of the ASX ferry today, having rushed to the buy side yesterday. It was probably Greece, which might default in 12 days, which might be bad. But I suppose what we're seeing is the volatility that comes from not knowing what's going to happen or what it means. The Athens share market fell another 3.2 per cent, so it's dropped about 13 per cent in three days. And there were quite chunky falls in Asia today as well. And there was a Federal Reserve Board meeting in the US overnight, followed by a statement that said the same thing as the last one, which is that the timing of the first interest rate hike depends on the economic data, which, as one commentator observed, is the Fed's equivalent of taking the fifth. So anyway, the local market fell 1.2% and nothing was spared. Banks all fell more than 1%. Wes Farmers and AMP 3% each and Fortescue 4% after the iron ore price went into reverse last night, down 2.2%. And the Australian dollar was steady again. After its brief foray above 80 cents US in May, the currency has settled back into a range trading pattern. Detailed employment data for the March quarter came out today showing jobs growth of 284,000 or 2.2% over the year, which is pretty reasonable. The more interesting thing, though, is the dramatic shift that's occurring in the economy. Now, only 10 years ago, more people were employed in both manufacturing and retail than in the health industry. Now, health is the nation's biggest employer. And finally, a different perspective on the housing boom, home deposits and loan repayments as a percentage of household income. Now, deposits are back at 90% of annual income, but servicing costs or repayments are at about 20%, well below average, and that helps explain rising prices. And that's finance.